Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all already know who it is. It's me. <laughs> um, I just want to stop by and do a quick little video to keep y'all updated on what I have going on and what I've been doing and what God is doing and what um some of the visions and plans that God has given me. I can't release everything right now. But I'm just grateful and thankful for all that he has done and all that he's doing in my life for me and for those who are around me, those who I'm connected with. Um, it's just been amazing. It's been, it's been an awesome journey. Um, back in March, I, re I recorded a song called Here I Am. Uh, basically a song telling God Here I Am through my flaws and my mistakes, through my imperfections. Through my mess ups, through my tests, my trials, God, I totally trust you. So here I am. You can have all of me. I'm yours. And from that, I end up going on tour in May. Um, I've been on tours from May to October 28th. And it's been an awesome, beautiful journey. And I thank God for that journey. I thank God for blessing me to be able to go on tour, to be able to minister to God's people in the way that he see fit for me to minister through song. And it's just been a blessing for me. It's been a blessing for my team. The blessings are real. It's been a blessing for my family. Because even, even through all that stuff that I was doing with the CYA team, it opened up doors and stuff for the other ministry that I've already had been working on. And God is really amazing. And I just thank God for all that he's done and all that he's doing because I can't do it without him. I couldn't go this far without him linking me with the blessings I real was his um my team, my squad, and from being connected to the Blessings Are Real, which was connected to CYA, um, the president, Joe Brown, he's connected with CYA, allowed for his team to come on board to go on the Encounter Tour, and it's been a blessing. Now we're in phase two of the tour, but I might not be touring that much with CYA this coming up, um, part two of the tour, because I have my own tour. See how God works things out? And it's called the Come As You Are Tour. And it's just be it's just been awesome and it's just been amazing. Um all what God has done. The Come As You Are tour is I God gave me the vision to build a team of women. I built the women. Well, the the women built the team, we put it together and we're going from city to city, state to state, coast to coast, and we're going to be able to minister and witness and testify and sing and bring unity, peace, love, motivation, encouragement, uplifting, just breaking um, boundaries between women and counseling out the jealousy, counseling out the disunity, counseling out the hatred, and we're just going to increase love upon one another. And I think it's awesome because a lot of times... People don't get the opportunity to witness to people um, on a different level on a platform, and and it's and it's not just for me because when God gave me the vision for it, I'm like God, I can't do a tour all by myself. I, I mean, I know that I got the the remnant of people that you want me to reach, but. What about those who I can't reach? Those who won't be receptive to every word that I say. So God allowed me to build a team of women that have different calls, different anointings, different appointings, different levels and dimensions that they are operating in. They have different talents, gifts, and abilities. Like they're, They also have women that can speak and witness to other women that's been through something that I've never been through. Because it's hard to witness to someone and tell them how to overcome something or how to break free from something if they've never been through it. Oh, you can say, well, God, just say trust. Just trust in him and rely on him. Yeah, that's true. But while you trusting and relying on him, what can I do in the meantime to keep me occupied so I won't fall back into the snares and the traps in the hands of the enemy? I have women that can tell you how to keep yourself sanctified and purified and holy and righteous until you meet that one. I have women on the team that's been married for almost 30 years and they are awesome and phenomenal. They've been a blessing to people around those. I have a woman, uh, it's a young lady. She's so awesome and she's so beautiful. And she know how to reach the young women, the young, the young millennials, because she's one herself. But if you talk to her, engage with this woman, you'll be like, girl, what? Girl, you are beyond your age. That's because God has given her wisdom. Um, 
people that can talk to you about or minister to you about health scares or being on your deathbed and all these other kind of things because they've been there and God has resurrected them from those de those deathbeds and God allowed them to be here today to talk to you, to minister to you, to witness you, which I think is very, very awesome. Um, the Come As You Are tour, we're going everywhere. We're going from Illinois, Michigan, um, North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland. Um, we're trying to hit Texas. They want us to come to New York. So it's like so many places that God is opening this door and giving me a platform to be able to minister, but not only just for me, but to bring other women on to be able to minister on a different platform. It's it's cool and dandy to minister in your home, sound in your home city. But when God opens those doors where you can go out and he push you out to go out and minister to other people, I think it's awesome. So that's what I really got going on on top of opening up a business called Modest. Um, I'm not going to elaborate on that right now, but Modest is coming soon. I'm helping build my daughter's brand a lot on this year, which is um, their own boutique. They're going to have all little girl matching socks and headbands and jewelry and purses and skirts and shirts and blouses and sweaters and jeans and all kind of cute accessories for little girls. I'm so proud of my babies because they have their own style. They have their own taste. One of them likes sparkly and glitter and glam and the other one likes to be like just bold and She's like strong, and so she have like her own little section, and then the other one have her own little section. Then we have some stuff that we're intertwined. It's just amazing. Um, God has blessed me with a vision for my own ministry, which is God's child, God's child ministry. Because at the end of the day, those who are, who follow Christ and love Jesus and gave you, you are God's child. That's plain and simple. You are God's child, and with God's child ministries outreach, I'm just going out to tell people you are God's child. God loves you. God adores you. God wants the best for you. He wants to help motivate you and push you along to be a better you for him. Like, it's just amazing what I got going on, and I'm grateful for it. I'm thankful for it. God is awesome. God is amazing. Um, He's been opening doors for me able to minister with other people that already have a platform that's already doing it, that's already seen, that's already her. And, you know, once you can connect with people with a bigger platform, that means you are elevating. You're elevating. So I thank God for the elevation. I thank God for um, him taking me to a place where I've never been before. I thank God that um, he's just strengthening Everything that I got going on, he's strengthening. He's pulling it together. He's working it out. He's removing. And that's the best part. When God starts to remove, cut, snip, people, places, and things that's not good for you, you know that you're on your way up. Because God would not put you in a place where you're going to be able to be attached to those things. and Because you can't elevate if you, if you weigh down with an anvil full of negative energy you know i'm trying to hold on to the balloon of positivity to go higher and i just thank god for that i thank god for that I thank god that god has allowed me to be um in my marriage for one year november 17th um made a year for me and my husband which is also my manager for the blessings are real and also a good encourager motivator when he wants to be when he's not um consumed about his own work ethics but um i just thank god for that one year um with that one year is coming a book up a book about the relationship and not so far about our personal relationship but things that we've both learned um because yeah when they say the first couple of years of marriage is hard yeah yeah it's hard. It's difficult because um, just coming to live with someone and you've been by yourself for so long and trying to interact and mingle, learn someone when you really thought you knew them, but you really don't know them because now you get to see them on a day-to-day -day basis. You get to learn their likes and their dislikes and how they like it and how they don't like it. So, yeah, it's been a crazy journey, but it's been an awesome journey, and I thank God for my husband um, and my manager and my partner, my best friend. He is awesome when he wants to be. <laughs> I'll just say that because sometimes I'm not 
the most awesome person when I want to be, you know. I love him, but sometimes I don't like him. And I know sometimes he don't like me because I can be. Stop, baby. No. That's daddy's. No. Say hello. No. Say hello. Mm. But he, um. He's an awesome man of God. So and I love awesome. Him. Daddy I'm awesome. Somebody. Yo, daddy. <laughs> One, two, three, yeah. four. Bye, baby. Bye. But I just thank God for uh, what he's doing. And I just want you to continue to support what we got on, got going on. It's not my vision. It's God's vision and plan. And I want you to... Uh, just continue to put God first. Continue to pray for my team. The blessings are real. Continue to pray for my other team, uh, Christian Young Adult CYA. Continue to pray for God's child ministry. Continue to pray for the Come As You Are Tour, the Encounter Tour Part 2. Continue to pray for Modest. Continue to pray for Alana Lashir. Continue to pray for all these things that I have got going on because I can't do it without God. And I just thank God for it. What he's doing. He's amazing. He's truly amazing. But that's basically what I got going on right now. So I hope to see you all in one of the cities. One of the stops. Stay tuned. I will be posting um the tour calendar online. So stay tuned. I love you all. You all be blessed. 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 I love y'all. I can't say it enough. I love y'all. I love y'all. Love somebody. Love on someone. <laughs> Bye.